Hi, and welcome to UTES MINGET Certified. This video demonstrates the proctor's perspective of live monitoring and evaluating user behavior throughout online assessments. Proctor supervises the exam in real time, watching the test taker's surroundings and desktop to rule out the cheatings. However, video recordings are backed up in the cloud if further review is needed and credibility report is generated. Let's log in as a proctor. After you navigate to the tests you are supposed to proctor, you will see three tabs, Testing Session tab and Candidates tab, where you can see all the candidates assigned to the session you are monitoring. To start monitoring a testing session, navigate to the Monitoring tab. As you can notice, it is possible to see if and when candidates started the exam. Click on the camera icon in the line of the user's name you want to monitor. Our proctoring software allows you to monitor both the candidate and their shared screen, so you can eliminate the possibility of browsing the answers on the internet. At the top of the surveillance interface, a proctor can choose to interact with a candidate by audio or turn on the video. Moreover, a proctor can share a screen if there is a need for the screen demonstration or use a chat box located in the right part of the screen. You can send not only messages, but also pictures or files as well. If you navigate back to the monitoring tab, you may follow the candidate's progress, preview action logs and question status with detailed information such as time spent on answering each question. In each observed session, recorded events are displayed using special icons on top of the student's video. For example, this icon states that the focus is switched to a third-party application or browser tab. And if we preview the candidate's screen, we will see that she has been searching the internet and copying the answers. If you click on the candidate's name in the top left corner, you'll be able to access user-specific data, such as profile information, photograph, and an ID or passport if required to be uploaded at the beginning of the session. If you click on the proctoring in the top left corner, the participation tab will open, where you can see all candidates monitored in your session. To select them, hold the control button on your keyboard and click on the candidates' names you want to monitor. Choose to supervise up to 25 candidates at the same time. To interact with one of them during the test-taking process, click on the candidate's picture and then the microphone or camera icons or use the chat box. Tabs above the chat are as followed. Messages, Faces and Events. In the Faces tab, Photos of participants' faces are saved, which are checked by the subsystem of biometric verification of personality. Photos are marked with three colors, depending on if the face in the front of the camera matches the candidate's profile picture. The last one, the Events tab, represents the automatic monitoring subsystem continuously storing all the moments of suspicious behavior. If a candidate took a short break, you could provide additional 5 minutes back in the monitoring tab. Or you can pause the session for all or individual candidates and leave a message. Although the live proctor monitors the test taker personally and is able to give attention to detail, the recording is backed up for an additional review. Our hide videos are accessed in the same way, from the Monitoring tab. All audio, video, text messages and recorded events are saved in the system and attached to the session protocol. At the bottom of the protocol, the session timeline is displayed. The color, from green to red, highlights the minutes for which metrics in the proctoring system are collected. 
Moving along the timeline, you can find violations you're interested in and play videos of these areas. Obviously, the red parts represent the moments of suspicious behavior. After the session ends, the system automatically evaluates credibility in the exam results using 14 behavioral trackers. The evaluation can range from 0 to 100 and the credibility report can be downloaded as a PDF file. To set a conclusion, click the rate button on the protocol sub panel, after which a conclusion dialog will be displayed. A rate in the comments may be further modified in the monitoring tab as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.